Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. If you want to make your own electricity, I have a lot of links down below for hot, making hot water for the solar pool heater, uh, making electricity on grid, off grid, and I got one for making hot air, which next year I didn't get it this summer. But I want to be in a situation where I can dehydrate my own food and not use a dehydrator, which is usually some of them go up to 1500 watts an hour and that's a lot of electricity so we got a whole lot of things in store today I'm in here in the uh, upstairs garden I'm going to fill all of these racks behind me with microgreens I'm going to fill this entire room up I have seeds soaking right now now I got enough lights just recently so um, I have two from Hidden Harvest now. I'll leave the link below. That's the yellow and white. He's doing everything he can to, after being 30 years in the industry, to try to make the LEDs the same spectrum of the sun, not like the purple ones, the purple lights. He wanted to do better, and he has. Just had to throw that out there. Thank you, Brad. So, we got seeds soaking. And I want to learn how to manage this so that I can come up here and get like eight different things on a salad whenever I want to have a salad. Still didn't do the pineapples yet. There's the one there. And this one is just doing so well. And these two, as they say, they came from the store. And if you get plants from the store, all your, your homesteaders and your farmers are going to tell you they're drug addicts because they have so many nutrients in them as, as sprouts to grow as fast as possible that they sell it at the store and then you get them home and they don't do worth the crap. Well, this one, it died. And I took the crown, that's the one in the cup the multicolored cup I just showed you over there. And right here, it has a new shoot coming out already. So there's another pineapple coming in. And I just found out yesterday online, if it turns bright yellow, then it's ready to harvest. And I can't imagine that pineapple <laughs> is ready to eat. Look how tidy it is. So maybe this plant here has to grow much bigger. I'll find out. But this is a beautiful crown. I can't wait. I'm going to clip that here pretty soon and get that going, whether that fruit is good or not. That'll be two, three, four, five pineapple plants that I, and I believe it's uh, 24 months before they're ready to harvest. So I have plenty of room in here to learn everything that I need to. I put a two by four across there. Because the tomatoes are, must be eight foot, nine foot tall by now. So I'm going to have this full of microgreens here pretty soon. And I'm going to cut that short. So I think I have around 11 or 12 grow lights now. And some of these I got from Horrocks, basil and such. I think I'm going to cut that kale down today and have that on the salad peppers are doing so good. Look at that pepper right there. It's beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, there's another one on there somewhere. That's my first pepper I ever grown. <laughs> I'm stoked. I'm excited. But for the next four weeks, we're going to have this full of microgreens. And uh, we're going to end it right there. So, have a nice sunny day.